times what is baby French Terry? So baby French Terry is, uh, has little tiny loops. Um, all French Terry have, the, the construction is, um, is what makes French Terry French Terry. And it has loops on the one side. Um, so baby French Terry has small loops, while regular French Terry has larger loops, and then there's also big loop French Terry that has even bigger loops. So it just refers to the size of the loops on the back. And um, you can see in the picture how small and fine those loops are, and this one is the same. It's just tiny little baby loops, which tends to um, make it a, a softer fabric. And then you have baby French Terry with a little bit larger loops, loops, slightly, just slightly bigger, not that much bigger, just slightly, but it's still baby. There's still baby French Terry loops. And then you have large loops. Um, this is a French Terry that we have, and I did not, I forgot to grab a piece of this to show, but this one has um, cotton in it and it has bigger loops. And, um, and then you have uh, brush French Terry, and this one has the bigger loops, but they're, oh, these are like small to medium loops actually, and they're brushed, so it makes it real soft um, on the inside, the side that touches your skin. And then there's also Sherpa French Terry, which is, you know, some kind of brushing process that gives the French Terry a Sherpa look on the um, the inside of the fabric. Betsy Gillingham wants to know what type of garments would you make with baby French terry and regular French terry? What type of garments would you make with baby French terry and regular French terry? Um, baby French terry, since the loops are finer, tends to be um, maybe a, a lighter fabric compared to the fabrics that have the large loops on them. They're, they're great for a number of things. You could make tops. I've seen people make dresses out of them, shorts, um, joggers. They just tend to be a lighter fabric um, than the French terry with the really big loops. And um, the really big loop French terry is more, has a little bit more, I would say, structure to it. So you'd want to make use that for garments with a little bit more structure. You could use that for sweatshirts, sweatpants. Um, you probably wouldn't get the drape that you want in a dress or a skirt um, or really the look that you want with a large loop French terry. Somebody wants to see the drape of the baby French terry. The drape of, okay, someone wants to see the drape of the baby French terry. Now this one has a lot of rayon in it. Rayon makes um, your clothes softer and has really nice drape. So this is, here's your drape. And French terries tend to be a two-way stretch. They have uh, they have four-way stretch. It, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of stretch there, but your bulk of your stretch is two-way. So that that's the stretch or the drape on the baby French terry. Now this is the brushed, the heavier brush French terry, and you can see how the drape, how much more structure it has than the baby.